Alright everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report and I am your host Robert Jordan. Everyone please remember to like, subscribe and share. Okay, I know we all heard of uh, crisis actors and paid protesters by now. Okay, how uh, these people pay people to show up to make the crowd look a lot bigger and fiercer and whatever, whatever it is. If it's a, a mass shooting, they actually pay people to show up. But anyway, I found a couple of other movements, a couple of other companies that can form whole movements, people. Not just, not just the individual protesters. They can give you the whole thing. I even found one with connections to the military. If that doesn't scare you, nothing will. But anyway, this one's called Demand Protests. And they say we can assemble movements. From grassroots organizations to advocacy groups, we see the narrative and gather the audience you desire. When your strategy demands paid protests, we organize and bring it to life. This is a whole group of people. I'm going to show you a clip after all this of one of these of a person out in California who was trying to get a bill passed who actually ran into one of these groups. And I'm going to show you. It's like two minutes long. So we're going to try and get through this as fast as possible. But let's go into the website. It says unassailable authenticity. Again, this is demand protest. We are strategists mobilizing millennials across the globe with seated audiences and desirable messages. We, with absolute discretion and top priority, our operatives create convincing scenes that become the building blocks of massive movements. When you need the appearance of outrage, when you need the appearance of outrage, we're able to deliver it at a scale while keeping your reputation intact. People, that is exactly what we're looking at right now. Staged outrage, okay? Now here's what they're capable of doing. They say demonstrations. We develop, recruit, manage, and execute on your high level, of, of high level objectives. Our trained operatives can lead entire crowds or simply steer events in your favor. We have the proven, his movements, we have the proven expertise required to expertly shape political, corporate, or public health perceptions. They have intelligence. Our operatives can embrace and steer existing organizations. Our operatives can embrace and steer existing organizations. Black Lives Matter, all these people that are already existing. These people help them along, providing valuable insights about those involved and their future actions. They provide training. Our strategists can train your organization in methods of creating effective demonstrations and design the situation that would deliver your goals. Okay? Now, here's some of their services. Now, we're going to go through the services and then we're going to quickly get out of here. They recruit, they'll do the recruiting. Our top priority is preventing any associations back to you. Our top priority is preventing any associations back to you. Our operatives only know us, and we have a proven track record of maintaining secrecy. Directed action. We demand action of our operatives on the ground and provide them in-person support. Create the scenes. Create the scenes that will sway public opinion and perception without any guesswork. Deniability, by taking every precaution, keeping our clients secret, only hiring the best individuals, we can ensure that all our actions will appear genuine to media and public observers. This is what we're dealing with in real time, okay? Now I'm gonna show you this quick clip of this lady who ran across one of these groups in California last year. She was trying to get a bill passed. California considers a ban on fur. Opponents packed a state hearing this week, saying the measure could hurt small businesses. But as Susie Steinle reports, these people may have been motivated by dollar signs. So bad. Cassie King rescued her bunny Mabel from a fur farm last year. They'll use bunny fur to just line gloves or really such trivial things that animals should not be dying for. She's a passionate activist who has been in Sacramento regularly to support AB 44, a bill that would make California the first state in the nation to ban the sale of fur. It's something San Francisco and LA have already done. Recently, Cassie noticed the opposition to this bill was growing at public meetings. We were all scratching our heads looking around who are these people who suddenly showed up to oppose the bill when 
the opposition has been virtually non-existent. So her activist group, Direct Action Everywhere, looked into it and claims most of the people supporting the sale of fur had been paid to be there. They found Facebook posts from two of them asking if anyone in L.A. was down to make an easy $100. Others offered another chance to make easy money fighting tyranny. This contract offers fake protesters $175 per performance and includes a non-disclosure agreement. Paid protesting is a growing industry. Companies like Crowds on Demand bring paid actors to rallies to inflate the amount of support for events like union disputes or political protests. For Cassie, as an actual activist, it's concerning and has her questioning certain crowds. It's terrifying what money can buy. It can buy people's voices. It can buy people's concerns. We need these real grassroots supporters to show up, to get active, and to speak out. Okay, guys. They can not only buy that, they can buy a revolution. They can buy the destruction of your country. We got to be real careful about what we're watching people. Because the people who, who, can, who have the money for these groups, they have an endless amount. So it's no telling how long this can last.